Ravens Monday Morning Show. Uh, Ten minutes after the hour, y'all. Front page news is being bought to you by Amer- um, bought to you by America's Best. Don't overpay for eyewear. Visit America's Best and get two pairs and a free exam for just sixty nine ninety five. It's not just a better deal; it's America's Best. Eva, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. I'm your girl, Eva Marcel, here with a quick look at your front page news. People along the coast of Texas and southwest Louisiana are looking at heavy rains and flooding from Tropical Storm Nicholas. The storm is moving up the Gulf Coast with winds up to 60 miles per hour. The National Hurricane Center says that it is on track to pass near the South Texas coast later today. Meanwhile, four people were injured yesterday in an explosion in an Atlanta area apartment complex that destroyed several floors of a building. The cause is under investigation, but the building's leasing agent reported a strong smell of gas about an hour before the explosion. Meanwhile, in international news, North Korea successfully tested new long-range cruise missiles over the weekend, and the U.S. Capitol Police announced six disciplinary cases against officers from the January 6th insurrection on the Capitol. All right, that was a quick look at your front page news. For more, log on to the RickySmileyMorningShow.com. Rock T, the sports genius. What's going down in sports? Oh, real quick, just going to fly through the, the football recap over the weekend. couple of games in college football. Ohio State loses to o- Oregon, man, 35-12. Arkansas beats Texas. Unranked Arkansas beats Texas. But, mm. uh... Yeah, that was pretty. That was pretty uh, crazy, man. With Ohio State and Oregon, man. But, but, yeah, that was. That was. I watched it. I was glued. If them teams played ten times, they would both go five and five. In my opinion, it was. They was very balanced. Both of those squads right there. But in the NFL, Jacksonville loses to Houston. Trevor Lawrence struggled a little bit through three interceptions. Tyrod Taylor, quarterback of the Texans, they made the Texans fans say Deshaun Watson who. And uh, what about Arizona beating Tennessee? Kyler Murray and the Cardinals defense made big Derrick Henry and Ryan Tannehill look like a Pop Warner football team. Now, I know it's only week one, but still, that was impressive right there. Miami beats New England. Two attack of Viola and um, Mac Jones both look good. Cleveland, they played Kansas City all the way to the end. Baker Mayfield, Patrick Mahomes. Man, Mayfield's going to be here for a long time. He for real. I'm convinced. And oh, yeah. uh, the New Orleans Saints, Jameis Winston throws five touchdowns, no interceptions. Pete Green Bay blew him out. Aaron Rodgers threw two interceptions like crazy. Uh, we got Monday Night Football tonight, Baltimore versus Las Vegas uh, Las Vegas Raiders. That's weird to say. I'm used to Oakland Raiders, man. I'm still ain't all right. Las Vegas Raiders, but it's going down tonight, man. So that's all I got right now. Gary, what's the team? What's up, Pip? All right, y'all. Everybody's talking about Sean Love Combs. Used to be Sean Puffy Combs, but now his name is Sean Love Combs. Y'all, and they're saying that he is continuing, y'all, to expand his lucrative empire, y'all. Now, he recently purchased, y'all, some highly sought-after real estate in Miami. Now, according to reports, y'all, they're saying, y'all, that Combs plunked down $35 million to purchase Gloria and Emilio Estefan's mansion on Star Island. Now, they're saying, y'all, that the couple who originally purchased the property in 1993... For one million eight hundred and forty thousand dollars, close the deal with Diddy recently. Now, according to TMZ, the property is eight thousand square feet, has six bedrooms and ten bathrooms. Now, the property also has waterfront views and a two-story guest house with three bedrooms and other amenities, y'all. Now, they're saying that Combs, he already owned y'all a huge mansion on Star Island back in 2003. Right. They say he pay, yeah, they say he paid $14.5 million for the Star Island estate, which was previously owned by Tommy Matola. Then they said he owned some more property. In 2014, he paid $40 million for his Los Angeles um, Home Be Homes um, house. And they say he got another mansion, another mansion. He even had an abandoned mansion, y'all, that they found, honey, back in um, 1998, y'all. So this man just got all kind of money. But do celebrities just buy each other's houses? You live in it for a year or two, then I'm going to come back and buy it behind you. Is that the thing, what they doing when you got all this money? It seems like it, though. So congratulations to Diddy Combs and all his mansions and all his money. And I don't know what he, how he get all this money because he ain't made no music in a while, but... That's neat to hear. No he got idea. other things. He got liquor and clothes. Oh, yeah. And he got so, the store in, in at, uh, Atlanta Airport. Oh, okay. Well, that's where you get all this doggo money from. All right, then. Congratulations, love. <laughs> all right, the Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua's. <laughs> my Kahlua today, y'all, is flashy gold. On the high end, you say flashy gold, and on the low end, you say gold. That's your Kahlua for today. Maria, what you got coming up in the hot spot? 
Good morning, Gary. Okay, so which hip hop artist almost killed a neighbor over twenty dollars? I have that story coming up next inside the hot spot, Ricky Smiley Morning Show.